Right, today we're going to do an unboxing and building, hopefully, of this new chicken run, which is a six meter by three meter uh, chicken run, which I got on eBay, and I'll put the link in the description below. And it's basically to replace the chicken run that you can see behind me that I built probably about um, seven years ago, and it's uh, looking a little bit knackered now, and it's a bit small anyway. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna basically replace that and put it down here in front of us and uh, see how we get on. So first thing is let's get it all out of the box and see what contents we've got. <laughs> <laughs> this unboxing might take a little bit of time. <laughs> okay, we've got a whole load of poles. Uh, these are 32 mil in diameter, which um, is meant to be a little bit bigger than some of the standard frames that you see on eBay, which they say are 25 mil. So I got the slightly thicker ones thinking that thicker is better. <laughs> right, first impressions. This is uh, box number one that we've opened. Got a whole load of um, uh, frames and everything. Uh, one immediate thing I have noticed though is that the uh, the welding on this um, these steel pipes isn't of brilliant quality, I must admit. Hopefully it will, it will do the job. Um, that one's not too bad. This one, this one here is particularly uh, suspect. It's okay on that side, but this one, hmm, not sure. But anyway, if it does the job, it does the job. But uh, you'd hope for something a little bit better than that. This particular model was um, 279 pounds on eBay. And uh, for that price, you get um, a sort of reassuringly heavy couple of boxes. So um, it's not a light frame, as far as I can tell. It uh, took us both to carry it, um, as it were. So it's not a lightweight thing at all. So we're just putting everything out. Uh, things are numbered, it looks like. Uh, I guess we might have to revert to the instructions as to what yeah. all these numbers mean. Although, as I say, that is an admission of defeat. Anyway, we'll get everything out, including the second box, and we'll um, just see what we've got. Right, so we've unpacked everything. Uh, this is basically what you get for £279. Loads of sort of brackets, uh, leg stands, uh, poles of various different lengths and sizes, loads of cable ties. Um, I guess this is a cover, a rain cover or something like that. And uh, we've got the netting as well. Uh, which says it's 50 meters, one meter by 50 meters there. And so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the camera up. I'll do it as a bit of a time-lapse thing. So um, hopefully you'll see it going up quite quickly. Um, I think it should be a bit of fun to do anyway, but uh, we'll see how we get on. And I'll say if there's any flaws that I've come across, obviously that welding issue on some of the brackets um, is one obvious thing, but uh, I'll point out any other things that uh, I think uh, you know, good and bad. So um, yeah, let's see how we get on. So these tubes fit together with these little spring-loaded pins here that go inside the tube and then they poke out through the holes there. So trying to do this one-handed, if I can, is that you put those in, push those along, and then all of a sudden they should give a bit of encouragement. There we go and that locks it into place. Right, the frame's coming together now. Um, we have come across a couple of little uh, funny bits. Just on a couple of uh, fittings here, you notice that this isn't perfectly round. Um, there's, it's either been dented, squished, or something on that edge, um, which means that the tube won't go into this one until we sort out that little dint there. So, well, there's a couple of ways of doing it, but I'm just gonna see if I can file that bit off and then uh, see if the bit slides in. So we've got the basic frame up now. Um, all we've got to do is put the door at uh, one end and then the netting that goes over the top. Uh, so far it's probably taken about half an hour or so. Just doing the door now and uh, the frame is sort of clamped on by this sort of very simple affair, which will tighten up 
when I've got both hands to use, but a clamp goes on there. Um, a similar clamp, I think, goes on the other side. And then we've also got uh, the roof brackets to put on as well. And that should then hopefully be the door arrangement. The door lock that comes supplied is a very, very sort of simple, um, oh, it's got a D ring, I suppose, on there, just hold this bracket on. And then this just flips up and the door opens and then flips back down again and locks it into place. Um, it's a little bit, I don't know, it's okay. It will do the job, don't get me wrong, but it's a little bit sort of, well, it's probably not the best thing in the world and we might have to change it for something a little bit better. But for the time being, it works and uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. Right, supplied with the kit um, is 50 meters of um, PVC coated mesh. And I think this is about 25 mil um, mesh here. Um, it doesn't look enough, to be honest, um, 50 meters to cover um, this sort of frame here. So um, fortunately we've got spare uh, anyway for left over from some, some other project, but um, we'll see how we get on. But 50 meters, this doesn't look quite enough, but I'm be pleasantly surprised if it works. Sonia is just wrapping it round. We'll pull it nice and tight and cable tie it off. But uh, this looks like a fairly straightforward thing to do, I think, as long as we're doing it right. But the whole lot will be put together with cable ties um, or held in position with cable ties. And we'll just work our way along the, um, the top there until the whole lot's covered. Okay, we're nearly done now. And uh, what I found in quite interesting is that this netting, we have got enough, uh, which is fine. Um, in fact, we've got a little bit more than enough, which is even better because of one reason which I'll come on to. The first line here, we've actually got an overlap. Um, so that's okay. On this bit here, we've just about got enough um, and it's quite tight, which is good. But on this bit, we're absolutely short. In fact, it's sort of, uh, there's absolutely no way we're going to get the two halves together. Um, so fortunately, we've got a spare bit which we can put over the top. Really strange. It must just, I mean, the netting should be exactly a meter wide all the way through the roll, but it seems to start off at, say, a meter, and then it diminishes down to probably 80 centimeters or something like that, and you just can't stretch it probably even less than 80, probably about 70 centimetres, and you just can't stretch it to get the thing to join together. So it's a bit frustrating, but fortunately there's enough green netting, uh, even after we've done everything, that we can put over the top here, which is what we've done. We haven't fastened it down yet, but we can put it over the top and um, cover up all the gaps. So, you know, it is what it is. It's, uh, it's not a, a deal breaker, but it's just a bit annoying, that's all. Also included in the box is one of these sort of uh, rain shelters so we're going to put that up at one end and just see how much that covers it's probably going to only cover about one bay maybe not even one sort of um one part really but anyway we'll see how it goes that should uh, help keep the rain off um uh, i think we're going to put it up at the hutch end i think i think that's what we're going to do well what a beautiful day it is today uh, i might be squinting a little bit as the uh, sun is right in front of me but anyway it's about two two three weeks on since we uh, built this um hen run here and uh, I think I can conclude that, uh, yeah, on the whole, it's pretty good. And if you want to go and get one, then um, I'll put the link in uh, the description below where I got mine from. This is a six meter by three meter run, but they do anything from, I think, two meter by two meter up to eight meter by four meter, something like that. Um, anyway, after having um, used it for about two or three weeks, I have come to a couple of little conclusions and it mainly revolves around the little tarpaulin bit at the back. Um, if you're in an exposed area like we are here uh, and it's windy, you find that the little eyelets on this tarpaulin um, don't last, or they're not going to last to be honest. You can see that on some of them, like that one there for example, that's starting to uh, rip through. Um, same with that one there. and. If I come around here, you'll see that that one's ripped out completely. So a few more windy days and it's probably not going to um, last brilliantly well. There's our little girls down there. Other than just a one or two little um, welding issues on some of the brackets, which isn't a deal breaker to be honest, then I think on the whole uh, this frame is pretty good. So yeah, I'd recommend one anyway.
Um, I think that's probably about it for this video, to be honest. So um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then hit the, uh, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell, and you'll get a little ping, I think, every time I put a new video on, which is about once a week at the moment, I think. And uh, we do all sorts of different things on our small holding. And uh, yeah, you'll see what we get up to anyway. But until the next video, bye for now.